Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, if you're new here. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full wash day styling routine with all new products. Let me just preface this video by saying that this is by far my best wash and go of 2020. So I am super excited to have all of these curly hair products in my arsenal. So if you guys think you're ready for some new bomb products, make sure to click that subscribe button and let's get into the video. All right, so to start this video off, we are gonna be doing a whole wash routine with all new products. So for today's video, we kind of switched up the settings a little bit. As some of you may know, I do um, have a broken leg or a broken knee rather, so I actually need to bathe in the tub. So I'm doing all my filming in the tub today. So I actually did a poll on my Instagram yesterday asking which new wash day products you wanted to see, and this is the line you voted for. So today we're gonna be using the new Maui Moisture Shine and Awa Pui Shampoo and Conditioner. So this shampoo says it's for dull hair, it hydrates, detangles, and it is a gentle shampoo. This has sulfate-free surfactants and it has no mineral oil, no silicones, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no synthetic dyes. It is vegan, eco-friendly, and cruelty-free. So to be completely honest with you guys, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this shampoo and conditioner. I thought it was just kind of, you know, gonna be like any other shampoo and conditioner, but I was wrong. And I'm very happy to say I was wrong because this is no ordinary shampoo. This right here, this is the holy grails of shampoo. I knew as soon as it touched my head that this was going to be the shampoo I need to use for the rest of my life. While I was using this, I actually purposefully used a ton of shampoo. And this is because I noticed my hair was still moisturized, it still was feeling good, and I'm like, okay, what's the catch? When is my hair gonna dry out? So I actually applied a ton of shampoo just to see if my hair was going to dry out. It did not. This shampoo hydrated my hair, it cleaned it, it had those suds that I absolutely love. Honestly, I couldn't ask for anything more from a shampoo than this has to offer. So, after my magical shampoo experience, I decided to try out a new hair mask. And the deep conditioner I decided to use today was the newly released, I think it just came out this week. Um, this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. This is actually protein free. Um, I don't have a ton of protein-free masks, so I was pretty excited to try this out. This mask is a deeply hydrating hair mask that curls of all types can drink up. This rich formula helps to provide strength and suppleness to the hair fiber for super soft and nourished locks, while sunflower seed extract moisturizes curls without the weight. This was a thicker mask when I was applying, so a little bit does go a long way. I find that when I have a thicker mask like this, I can mix it in with a little bit of water uh, to distribute the product more evenly and also not waste product. So I started applying it to my hair. It felt great. It was amazing for detangling. All the knots completely melted away. So this is actually going to be another fan favorite for me. So I left this on for about 10 to 20 minutes. I put a face mask on. I did some exfoliating, my body wash. I pretty much just followed up with the rest of my bathing showering routine while I had this in my hair. After my deep conditioners, I always like to follow up with my regular conditioner. For me personally, I just feel like it really helps to lock in the moisture from my deep conditioner. So the conditioner I'm gonna be using to follow up with was the Maui Moisture Shine and Awapui Conditioner. This is from the same line as the shampoo, and let me tell you, it was just as amazing as the shampoo as well. When I first put it in my hand, I was not sold on the consistency. Um, it did feel a little bit too lotion-y for me, not as thick as I would like, but as soon as it touched my hair, my thoughts completely changed. 
It was moisturizing, it was hydrating, it had a ton of slip. My hair just detangled. So if you guys need a re-up on your shampoo and conditioner, I would definitely recommend trying these out. And now we're gonna move on to the actual styling routine. All right, so the first product I'm gonna start out with for my styling routine is the new Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Leave-In Conditioner. This says it amplifies softness and helps to tangle and added heat protection. This leave-in conditioner has no sulfates, surfactants, no silicones, no dyes, no parabens, no phthalates. It is cruelty-free and made in the USA. So judging from the first impressions of my Not Your Mother's hair mask, I'm really excited to try this. The whole line smells absolutely incredible. So let's give this a try. When I have products like this in a spray bottle, I personally like to spray it in my hand and count how many pumps I'm using. That way, the next time I go to use it in my hair or use a similar product, I can kind of replicate how many pumps I'll need, how much product I actually need for my hair. So that's a really good way to gauge how much you're using, especially with a spray bottle. This looks like it would be a great leave-in for a lot of different hair types, just based on the texture and how lightweight it is. So my hair is definitely liking it. It's giving it a very lightweight but moisturized feel. Um, this is a really good base and I think this would be great for my texture, looser texture, just to get that extra moisture in there. All right, next for my actual curl cream, I'm going to be using this new Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Combing Cream. This is silicone free and it says it helps to soften, detangle, and define has creamy shea butter, rich coconut oil, and pure macadamia oil. Remember, it's always good to start with a smaller amount because you can always build up, um, but you can't always start over unless you rewash. So it's really important, especially when trying new curl creams, you don't know if they're going to be too heavy for your hair, too oily, how your hair is going to react. So definitely start small. It smells really good. It has kind of like a vanilla shea butter type of scent. I would say this is a little bit on the thicker side. It's kind of a medium texture, but I can definitely feel those oils in the formula. So no complaints about this curl cream. My hair absolutely loved this. So far this wash and go is a total hit for me, so I'm pretty excited about it. The only thing I would say about this combing cream is it is a little bit on the thicker side. So it is working for my hair texture even though my hair is very fine. Maybe not so much wavy textures just because of the thickness and how many oils they put in here. Um, but so far my hair is really liking it. It has a great scent. So we'll see what happens after my hair dries. All right, so lastly in my wash and go, I'm going to be using a gel. Now, I couldn't find any newly released gels. Unfortunately, I feel like that is something that the brands focus on the least are gels, which is pretty unfortunate because I am a huge gel lover. Um, but I did pick up this Aussie Instant Freeze Gel. This is 20 hour max hold with Australian jojoba oil and sea kelp. This is a maximum hold gel, which you guys know I am here for. I live for maximum hold gels. So although this isn't a new release, this is going to be my first time trying this out. So let's see how it works. So since this is gonna be a pretty thick gel, I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of water in my hands um, just to make it more malleable and able to distribute it over my hair a little bit easier. All right guys, so these are the final results from all the products. Um, I'm going to let my hair air dry for probably about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and start diffusing. And then once I'm all dried and ready to go, I'll come back and show you guys the final results and my final thoughts on these products. All right guys, so these are the final results of today's wash and go. Today's wash and go was full of surprises for me. I actually wasn't expecting half of these products to do as well as they did. This is probably one of the best wash and goes I've had. Well, this is certainly the best wash and go I've had all of 2020. So let's just go with that. One of the styling products that actually surprised me the most was this Aussie gel. I was expecting this to be really sticky and leave a residue since it is such a thick 
gel, but none of that happened. Luckily, it is not sticky at all. It is soft, it is defined, it is amazing. Um, it definitely dried with a very hard cast, which is what I personally like. But once I diffused all of the cast out, um, I'm just left with a perfectly soft and defined wash and go. Overall, this whole wash day routine from wash to styling to finishing um, came out absolutely amazing. I hope if you guys pick up any of these products, you'll have similar results because I am very happy with today's wash and go. Let me know if you guys have any questions for me in the comment box down below. I will link all the products I used in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.